Hello everybody, this is NXGTR. This is going to be a live video about the application I, I have created. Uh, I would like to make a few announcements first before we start. Um, the first one is that I don't speak English as my native language. So if, if you don't understand me very well, well, that's the reason. The second one is that my computer microphone uh, it's broken, so uh, I will have to record my voice at my cell phone. So it could be a little bit uh, out of sync or bad quality, but I will do my best. So here we have this is the application. Uh, right now, it's at my local host. Yeah, there's the the web page is not set up ready. Yeah, uh, but here we go. Uh, when you uh, start the application it gives you three options uh, you can try the same as guest and you will have all the regular performance um, frames so you can select a card and stuff and run the test uh, right now we're going to do that uh, well, you can sign up to run, write some stuff your email whatever you write this is important because as an advanced simulator you need to know how much you weight so because your weight will be added to your card weight so we can give you real uh, live results as much as we can uh, the option right now we're gonna use it's the login one you provide your email and password to uh, email you are gonna use free from gmail.com and the password is this uh, ha, ha, ha. here we go um i don't want to keep my login right now so i'm gonna sign in here's your profile management i don't have a picture now but you can upload one to your favorite uh, picture store and upload the link here um there's just a few information about you uh, and this is the operation you can do right now some operations are not even ready for pro or free users they are just not ready in any way um, profile um, right now this profile is a free account we are gonna use a pro account to show you the features of the sim I'm going to update the information now. Um, uh, this is my weight. Uh, I'd maybe weight a little bit less, but it doesn't really matter for this video. Uh, I'm going to manage my cards. Here you will be able to add as much cards as you want. Uh, there's an auto complete feature where you can select your brand and whatever. and all the inf needed information is going to be out of complete uh, this database of cards is built by users or bad me itself uh, and you can be part of this out of complete database if you choose stock as your notes uh, when you save one of your cards of course uh, I ask you to only select the stock notes to cards that are really really fully stacked so we could have a um, trusty uh, out of complete feature right now i have uploaded a card already so i'm going to select it here uh, this is a regular uh, nx2000 car frame nissan from 1993 i just add the trim gtr but it doesn't change not in, nothing at all here we have transmission, manual, automatic, and whatever. Uh, body displacement, engine displacement. Of course, this is for engine stuff. Engine location. You can be force induction here. Spark ignition. This is for gas uh, or diesel here. Compression radio. The power. This is the unit. This is very important. So we can really know what you are talking about here and here uh, RPMs and red lines if we go to drive train section uh, well this is uh, this is this must be the same as this one so this that's the reason because this one it's um, can be 
selected. Uh, driving wheels, well, it should be front, rear, all wheel drive. In this case, we have a front car. Launch RPM, this is just the RPM that you want to be uh, before launching, before releasing the clutch. This is the final drive radio. Uh, and this is the gears. Uh, right now, the sim supports up to 14 uh, gears, uh, which I think it's more than enough to actual cars. In body, uh, we have uh, the weight, of course, of the cars, the web distribution, 60-40 front and rear, that's percentage, uh, overall height, wheelbase, width, and ground clearance, that's very basic stuff. Uh, the wheels, well, this is very important because it gives you um, real specs about the cars, uh, uh, most cars are very high. Uh, modified rules uh, maybe use tires or ramps or whatever but that it uh, matters a lot so make sure you have the right specs when you um, upload a car uh, this one it's okay uh, this is the um, stock tires and ramps right now uh, if you go to this enthusiast tab we, we have a shifting method um you can change the the way the the same uh make your shifts it can be optimal uh, which means the same will check for the all available uh, torque range uh, and will um, select when it's best to shift or keep the current gear given a maths calculation about resultant uh, wheel torque uh, given the, the radio and that stuff change time well it's the time you, you need to to actual uh, make the shift as you know um, in um, regular shifting what you do is to release gas pitch clutch and whatever that stuff or even if you are talking about automatic transmission it it happens uh, more like the same but in automatic way so there's a time where the car it's not as accelerating or if you want to call it it's accelerating at at a minus rating so it actually it's decelerating so this is the time that you lose at each shift um, this is the overall tire diameter uh, this is automatic calculated if you can you can change it of course if you if you really have a, a better measure than this one you can shift at red line or a fixed uh, if you choose fix you will have to specify here at what exactly repeat you want to make your um, change gears if we go to advanced uh, at engine we was talking about power and torque well uh, it was measured at crank or uh, it was measured at walls you selected here threaten torque glass um how much power from engine crank is lost to when actually rich tires uh, this one goes here clutch slip factor um uh, you better don't change this value unless you know what you are doing if, if you don't know what this is, well, you, you don't need to change it. Uh, boost starts, uh, this is available when you choose uh, force induction car. And you select here at what RPM your uh, turbo or supercharged rail starts to make some busts or difference. Body frontal area uh, and drag coefficient. Uh, this this boat are automatically calculated so you just need to change them if you know uh, more specific values uh, if you go to pro tab here we have um, um, very advanced values that must be changed only by people that know what they are doing uh, I'm getting I'm not going to explain all of this because if you need to change them, uh, you already know what you are doing. 
upgrades uh, this is a feature that it's not ready yet uh, but the idea is that you can set up your card at stock and then uh, virtually install parts to see how much change it really makes on your card I mean you want to buy a turbo charge but uh, you don't you don't know if it's worth the money so you do it here but uh, I'm still working on this one so this one it's not ready yet sale so, um, this is this is ready yet but I have not uh, make it available yet because um, uh, we need uh, a lot much uh, visitors at webpage so you can really uh, promote your uh, the car you are offering for sale uh, whatever you can change values here this is not ready anyway uh, the photos um, you can upload all these first I mean maybe uh, it looks a little bit uh, uh, just a few but uh, this is not um, uh, car society or something like that this is just the same um, you can love upload this picture well actually you upload a link to a image hosting or whatever um, uh, the most important pictures are this one and this one uh, all others are just regular pictures that you can up upload and show and at other places but the profile picture is the the photo that you see here at your cat management and the racing picture it's a special picture that is shown uh, when you use the drag racing test so you can actually see your card moving around the screen and whatever uh, right now this card has no picture on it and we are gonna leave it that way I'm gonna click back here uh, I'm gonna update to be a uh, profile a pro user so this is my actual credits I have all these credits and I have uh, this free time to use them if you don't know what this is you can visit the page um, when it's ready so you can learn more about this of course you can use all the tests with a free account uh, but we are gonna use a pro account just to show you all features in this video well let's go to sim when you select that option you uh, go to this frame screen and you have here four tests if you put your mouse over the picture it gives you all the information about that specific test we're going to start with this magazine test this is more like uh, the reviews we can see at a magazine uh, 0 to 60 time 4 mile time and all that stuff we're going to see it here in action so here we go uh, I'm going to select the card right now I just have one card as we already noticed but this is going to be uh, and once we select that um, uh, speedometer and touch it's created dynamically so um, the values you see here will depend uh, on on the specs that you already define in your card management here we have all the information we can see of course uh, the speedometer and the touch are real-time so we can know uh, this information at any way um, this is some environment information, uh, our time, altitude, uh, humidity, and this stuff. This is disabled because this is 